Hey guys, what's up? Producer engineer Alex Scott here with Concertini.com. Thank you so much for checking out another one of our gear review videos. Today we're taking a look at another super critical part of my studio. This is my PreSonus Monitor Station version 2. It is my monitor controller, kind of home base master control section for my studio. Um, what it is designed to do is take signals mainly from your interface um, or your, you know, whatever audio system you're running on your computer, as well as, you know, if you have like a, a monitor mixing console or, or pretty much anything, it's super flexible. It's designed to take all of that audio, control the master volume sent to your speakers. If you're using multiple pairs of speakers, you can select um, which ones you would like to listen through. Um, we also have four different headphone uh, outputs with a Q mixing uh, ability where you can bring in a second Q, stereo Q input, and send those out um, to four different sets of headphones. It's an incredibly versatile unit, uh, but it's also really, really simple to use and simple to set up. Sounds great. Um, and it, you know, like I said, it kind of runs all of the main audio in and out of uh, my studio. If you guys have watched other gear reviews on the channel or any of our mixing tutorials, all of the audio that you have heard in those, um, in terms of what's coming from the DAW, uh, has been passed through this. Um, I can attest that it is super transparent, doesn't color anything, super well built. The knobs feel uh, pretty solid. Um, my only gripe is this guy's a little bit wiggly, this kind of main volume controller, um, but it certainly works fine. It's not scratchy or anything. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a great unit all, overall. Um, let's go ahead and pull the camera over and I'm gonna show you guys some finer points on um, the controls and just exactly how you can set it up, how you can route everything, all that good stuff. So let's check it out. Okay guys, so here is a closer view of our PreSonus Monitor Station V2. Just to run over some of the basic controls and features of it real quick, starting at the top, this is kind of our headphone send section, okay? So we have four independent outs. These right now are connected to my snake, which run out to my tracking room. And these are my main headphone sends for when I have musicians out in the tracking room playing drums or recording guitars or whatever they're doing. So we can assign our cue source from either one of our two TRS stereo inputs on the back. So right now I have stereo one, as my main send coming from my DAW. Stereo two is output three and four for my DAW, which I have set up as a Q send in my software. And then we do also have an aux input on stereo RCA for our cell phones and anything else that's gonna use a three and a half millimeter jack. So we can send any of those or all of those to our Q. We then can select the source for each headphone. So when it's pushed in, it is the Q source. When it's pushed out, it is our main source, which we select down here. So I have the first three set up as Q sends, just like this. So the Q send coming from Studio One goes into Stereo Input Two. We select that and make sure that these buttons are depressed. That is going to send our Q uh, send from our DAW out to our headphones. Now this last one, number four, I have my, the pair of headphones that they're in the other room right now, but the pair of headphones that I normally use, my uh, Bayer Dynamic DT880s, I plug in right here and I have that set to main. So I'm monitoring the main source, stereo input one, and can use those as my mixing headphones in the control room. We then also do have a master volume for our Q, which will control the send of our Q, or the, control the volume of our Q source going into the first three, again, in, in my circumstance here. So that's our headphone sense section, super flexible, super easy to set up, super easy to route, and a great solution for getting a couple good headphone sends to a different room. Moving down from here, we have our main controls. Aux input. There is also a SPDIF input on the back of this um, on um, RCA style jacks. So if you use SPDIF um, for one reason or another, you can activate that and use a digital input. I just have it set to our three and a half millimeter aux cable, our aux input volume. Then our main source, this is what's gonna go to our speakers, okay? And again, as I said a moment ago, stereo one is my main stereo feed out from my DAW. So that's what we have selected there. If I need to plug in a phone or something, I just go ahead and hit aux, and that's going to turn on our aux cable, or I can keep it off so I don't have any hum or buzz, and I don't have to worry about fiddling with that knob too much. Obviously main volume knob. We also have a mono summing switch, incredibly handy for checking phase correlation left and right. We have a mute, which is really, really, really handy. 
uh, we do have three different speaker outputs. So if you have multiple pairs of monitors, maybe you have your main monitors and then like a pair of NS10s and then maybe a pair of, uh, you know, whatever, computer speakers or something, you can independently pick whichever of those you would like. You can use A and B, A and C, all three, only C, only B, you know, whatever you want to do. Then we have a dim switch, also very, very handy. Maybe you're doing a mix and somebody walks in for whatever reason, you don't want to stop the music. You can just go ahead and dim it real quick and control the amount of uh, attenuation that happens when that's activated. And last, but certainly not least, we do have a built-in talkback mic, which automatically dims your speakers as well. Now this is uh, automatically routed to your Q send. So when I hit that, this mic is going to turn on, I can control the volume here, and that's only going to go to my Q selected headphone outputs so that I can communicate quickly and easily with the people in my control room. So overall, it's a really simple device, really high quality build. Um, you know, I mentioned this elsewhere, one of my few niggles is that this knob is just a little flimsy, um, but you know, it works fine for what it is. It's not so flimsy, I'm worried it's gonna break. I just do wish it was a little bit tighter and a little bit more, um, you know, yeah, just a little a little better. <laughs> but other than that, it's great. The, the talkback mic works great. All the, you know, everything's incredibly easy and intuitive to route. Um, if you're looking for a very simple monitoring control solution, um, this is a really great and affordable option. Okay, so there you go some basic control overviews for the PreSonus Monitor Station V2. Uh, I love this thing. It's super affordable. It's super easy to use, but it does allow a lot of flexibility. I think it's perfect for a studio like mine. You know, I run a professional studio. I do have, you know, bands and clients and all kinds of, of great work coming in here, people working in here, all that kind of stuff. But I'm not a huge, you know, commercial recording studio. I don't have multiple tracking rooms. Um, while I do definitely have bands in here, uh, all tracking together from time to time, I'm usually doing like more production oriented work, mixing, mastering, all that kind of stuff. So I don't need a really big, complicated headphone queuing system. This thing suffices just fine. I can do my cue mixes in my DAW in studio one, and then, uh, send, you know, I have three different headphone sends that go out to the control room. Um, and I can add a fourth if needed. I use this fourth headphone send for my headphones here in, uh, the control room works great for that. Um, it's, it's just a really solid little unit. It's super affordable too. Um, I think I paid 250 for it. Uh, that's, I believe what they're going for new. Um, if you are interested in purchasing one, there will be a link in the description to Amazon where you can check the price and go ahead and pick one up. Also, if you use that link to buy one, you'll be helping support our channel and we really, really appreciate that. So please check that link out if you'd like. Um, but what are you guys' thoughts on the PreSonus monitor station? Do you, have you used one? Uh, do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you prefer something else? I know PreSonus has a few different units like this. There's an older version of the monitor station. And then they also have, I think it's like the power controller, something like that. It's a rack mounted uh, monitor controller with a separate kind of controller that sits on your, um, on your desktop. Uh, very, very cool units, all of them. But I would love to hear if you guys have used different variations of this one or different units from PreSonus, what you think of them. Whatever your opinions may be, definitely leave them in the comments down below. We always appreciate hearing from you guys. Um, but again, my name is Alex Scott with ConcertNeedy.com. I hope you have found this video helpful and interesting and fun, all that good stuff. Um, and I will see you in the next one.